Hello everyone and welcome back to more Football Manager 2019 with me, Mr. Grant, who in episode 80 of Monaco. And uh, well, today we are going to be playing Arsenal in the Champions League quarterfinal, both legs, either side of a cup match against Stade René, which we're going to play a rotated side for. Given the fact we've already won the Coupe de France, it's just not as important as the Champions League. So obviously nothing has happened since we won the Coupe de la Ligue in the last episode, which was a very nice thing to do. And uh, well, the team is looking... Not especially great. Henrix has got a bit of a bit of a lack of fitness after a recent minor injury. Awa picked up another injury in the week. Um, to be honest, given the magnitude of this match, I think both of them should be fine to play. We've got Adria Zola on the bench if we need him. We've got Messi on the bench as well if we need him to come on. Um, so we should be, we should be all right. We should be all right. Let's get do it then. I mean this. I don't know, we've been, this is the only competition now, now that we've won the Coupe de France, this is the only competition we've not won, that we've been, we've actually been able to take part in, and uh, it's, I don't know, it just feels like our luck has been really, really good domestically, but then just not at all present in this competition. With the exception of season one, where we obviously finished bottom of the group, and we were just rubbish, every year since, it just feels like we've kind of been kind of been robbed, I mean, season two, we got to the final, we were a penalty kick away from winning it, and we ended up losing to Spurs, and since then, we were knocked out by very, very narrow games against Roma, against Valencia, against Manchester City, and then of course last year, against Liverpool, which, well, we shall never speak of again. So, let's talk about Arsenal, we have played Arsenal, I believe, earlier on in this save, I think I think we did anyway, it was a long time ago, I just clicked past the screen that would tell us, uh, but there we go, they've got a, an entirely real person team, save for their left back, Bert Leno's still there, they've got uh, Fry and Lascelles, both of whom are part of my England squad, at centre back, Bellerin's still there, they've got a regen at left back, Sergio Murillo, sounds Spanish, so probably was part of the side that knocked us out of the Euros, with France, they've got Rakim Harper, who's also part of my England squad, very, very good player, alongside Lucas Torreira, Iwobi still there, Reese Nelson still there, uh, they've got Romelu Lukaku up front, and then Nicolas Pepe, who they obviously have not yet signed in in uh, at the start of the game, uh, but they've signed him just as they have done in real life as well. <laughs> so this is going to be very, very tough, but we did beat Barcelona, of course, and uh, that was obviously very, very difficult. Hopefully, then, we have enough to get past Arsenal here. This is the first leg. We are away from home in this one, which means we'll be, of course, playing the second leg at home. Any away goals here would be a very nice advantage for us. Oh, Mendy's been robbed by Pepe, and it's a glorious opportunity for Arsenal, and they don't take the lead. Great save from Alexandre. Not the best start from us at all, and uh, corner comes in. Chance for us to break though from an Arsenal corner, and we do. Absolutely brilliant. That was an Arsenal corner came into the box. Plenty of opportunities for them to get a shot away, but Rakim Harper, England International, robbed by Hossim Awa, feeds Patrick Schick. And if you're going to feed Patrick Schick, there's only one thing he has any intention of doing this season, and that is scoring 31 goals for the season. For the check, fantastic away goal already against Arsenal. Another corner from Arsenal this time to Harper, looking to redeem himself, and he has done. Um, it's well, it's hit Alex Iwobi, and it's been ruled out. Now that's interesting. So the shot comes in from Harper, but it because it bounced against Alex Iwobi, who was clearly offside. It's not counted. That's very unfortunate for Arsenal. You have to say. Henrik's on the ball, not particularly fit, but he's playing well. Scoff cracks one against the crossbar on the join between the bar and the post. Henrik's chucks one in against, bounce down to Mendy. Kessie feeds Scoff. He goes for the shot again, and Leno makes the save this time. Two glorious opportunities for Scoff. Still the action comes. Poor play from Kessie. He's given the ball away to Arsenal here. Reese Nelson on it, finds Iwobi. Tempted tackle comes in from Scoff. 
Still not got it, but pressing back, trying to win the ball back. Rakim Harper, Hector Bellerin. Here's the shot going to come in from Lukaku. He does not score. Well, an end-to-end -end stuff. Certainly chances for both sides, but it's us that have the breakthrough. Do not get complacent. Keep this up. Very, very good first half as far as we're concerned. Arsenal desperate for a goal back. It's come down to Rakim Harper, out to Bellerin. Ball across. Surely they're going to score here. No. Alexandre with another massive save. Arsenal coming back though, surely they're going to score this time. Reese Nelson tipped wide by Alexander. I think it was going wide anyway. But another glorious opportunity for Arsenal. So many chances for them. Alexandre has been sensational today. Another corner in from Arsenal. Harper plays it to Lascelles. Arsenal, surely they're going to get a goal here. Finally, they find a breakthrough. Rakim Harper, who's been not at his best today, it's fair to say. Um, finding the breakthrough, and it is a well a sloppy goalkeeping, I think, from Alexandria. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, I mean, it's a good shot. He, I think he probably could have got onto that, given how dominant he's been for us today. One all, though. We've got the away goal. This wouldn't be the worst result ever. Can we get ourselves another away goal? Not with defending like that. De Ligt with a disastrous attempt at a pass. We get away with it, though. This time, can you just actually find your teammate? He does. Just about. Skov on the right-hand side looking for Patrick Schick, who's managed to get it, and he might have been fouled. Brilliant instinct from, from Schick to get that ball ahead of Dale Fry. Is it going to be a penalty? What is the decision? It's outside the box, viewers. It's outside the box. We could have predicted that. Skov, can he whip one in? To get ourselves another goal. It's tame effort. He goes again. He goes again from Allard. And it's still 1-1. Three minutes of injury time left. And Audrey Azola. Luckily he's only our backup right back. But he will not be in the second leg. He's got himself a red card. For a second yellow. Very sloppy. Still three minutes left. Plenty of time for Arsenal to grab an equaliser. Which is not what we want. We do still have a substitution to make. Which is good. I've just brought Lionel Messi on. But I think I'm going to take him off. Put Mamana at right back and we'll put Awa onto the right hand side for these final three minutes. And that is that. Two uh, moments of pure brilliance from players and it's one all. And uh, I think a pretty fair reflection on that. Don't be too hard on them. I'm not going to be hard on them. It's a good result. Well done. We played well. And a uh, good result. Get the away goal for the second leg in a week's time. So the Stavrone game was a very clinical 3 0 win. We're into the semi finals. Of the Coupe de France once again. What is that? Four years running at this point? Three years running? Five years running? Who knows? That pales into insignificance compared to this match though. What? Locked at one all from the first leg. Can we get ourselves over the line and into the Champions League semi-finals? For what will be only the third time in the save so far. Or is it going to be a step too far once again for us? Is, is, it, this, is it just going to be the, the one competition that we just never win? So here we are then, a few changes for the Arsenal team. They brought in uh, Guendouzi, they brought in Mustafi, which has surely got to be an advantage for us. And then this guy, Marco Antonio, on the left-hand side. 28 minutes on the clock, nothing really has happened in this match, apart from that corner highlight for, for us, and nothing else for, for Arsenal. Schick, though, beautiful exchange of passing. If only it had been the other way round, Awar cannot find the target. Arsenal wearing a kit that looks very much like PSG, which is slightly disconcerting. Uh, very similar colours. Martinez just about keeps it in play and doesn't end up giving it away yet. Delict to Henriks. Looking for some sort of advantage here. Skov back to Henriks. Very, very high from Henriks. I don't really care though. He's found Frank Kessie who dispatches it away. Not many goals in recent times for Kessie. Scored like, I think he scored like six or seven within the first few games of the season. Um, but, you know, 12 in total. Not bad from him. On his right foot this time, lashes it away. 2-1 up, plus that away goal. Looking good. Nothing else doing in the first half. Let's let's keep it up. Having flashbacks to last year's quarterfinal against Liverpool, where kind of a similar situation, really. We looked like we were in control, and we all know how that ended. Scott with a free kick in. It's bounced down into Lick. Surely he has to put it away. No, he doesn't. He doesn't find the target. Scott, though, does. From the resulting pass up, from the back, after the clearance by Arsenal, 
Delict really should put it away. Many bodies getting it in the way. But we have two players deep. Kessie plays it straight back to Skov. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to take this on this time. Myself. 2-0. 2-0. 3-1 We are in control. 30 seconds on the clock. Arsenal need... Well, they need two. They need two. They're not going to get two. We've done it. 2-0 on the night. 3-1 on aggregate. We're safely into the Champions League semi-final. We're safely into the Champions League semi-final. Absolutely fantastic performance. Really just incredibly disciplined, particularly at the back. And uh, fantastic. Unfortunately, well, the good news is Liverpool are out. Unfortunately, PSG are through. Um, so we're going to go forwards and see who we're going to be facing in that semi-final. But, uh, well, at least we got there this time. At least we got there. So the other semi-finalists are Atletico Madrid and Valencia. Obviously, one of those is a team that we... Uh, we got knocked out of the Champions League 2 before a former winner in this save as well, I think. And, uh, well, let's see who we're going to get. Either PSG or a team from Spain. And, uh, well, we're out first. And it's going to be PSG. I mean, we, I was kind of hoping maybe it would be a PSG final. But, uh, hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, and that does mean we will be pretty much playing PSG until the end of time. Um... We've got to play them in... That's a mistake, surely. Hang on. Has the game not re registered that properly? It's saying we're playing them twice in Liga, which is not true, is it? That's not true. Um, which... Which... What? It's not... It, has it not scheduled the game properly? That's weird. Let's go forwards and see what happens. There we go. That's better. That's fixed it. Now, apart from the semi-final against um, Lille in the Coupe de France... Um, we're going to have to play PSG three times in a row in the league and then in the Champions League. I mean, yeah, that, that's that's going to be fun. PSG triple special. I think that's what we're going to have to do next time. What a, what a way to potentially wrap up the league as well that might be. We've got to play Leon in the meantime. Hopefully that one goes okay. But yeah, I think that's it's got to be what we look at next time, hasn't it? PSG triple game special. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you do not miss the next episode. And I will see you next time for that PSG triple game horror show.